One World, One Dream, One Global Sporting Event. Eight nights, eight DJs, eight memorable parties. That's the one night in Beijing parties taglines of Big Bar, a Malaysian-owned hutong bar carved out of an old courtyard. The one night in Beijing parties commences in line with the 2008 Beijing Olympics opening ceremony on August 8. Big Bar. One of Cafe Sambao's group's outlets invites all to come party and unwind at this trend-setting chill-out place. Um, well, there's lots of people here now here during the Olympics. A lot of trainers, coach, um, athletes, and I mean, there's still lots of foreigners, and it's good because we're by word of mouth, and lots of people like to come into hidden places in Hutongs. They feel special. The bar is tastefully decorated with furnishings like Kang style bed seating and comfy rugs and pillows. This pioneering hutong bar is a popular hangout among the locals as well as expats. We try to throw a party every week to welcome every newcomers and tourists and you know um, the locals that are here. We don't do we just do the normal parties that we normally throw every every month. It's just not for Olympics, but so during the Olympics we try to throw more events. Lots of fun, lots of people come here and they gather and they throw parties. Cafe Sambal Group started its first Malaysian and Singaporean restaurant, Cafe Sambal, several years ago in the Chinese capital. Like its website introduction says, Cafe Sambal has the charm of the Hutong interior and antique furnishings mixed with some modern fixtures and artworks. So we get a vast variety of um, people coming over here. People from all sorts of culture, people in all sorts of business. Because this place is it's, it's very nice and relaxed and you know, it's a chill place and it's authentic Malaysian, which they like, you can't really find that around here in Beijing. We're the first Malaysian restaurant in Beijing. It's also known for its friendly and attentive service and thus it is not a surprise to learn that the restaurant has earned numerous awards, such as Reader Restaurant Awards 2006 and 2007. The Malaysian dishes served here are also very authentic. Well, what we do is we import all our ingredients from Malaysia. Uh, we have them shipped and then we use full flavour and um, a lot of, we try not to put too much in the menu. What we do is we have a meat, a vegetable, a fish, seafood and we only have one, sim one style of cooking which complements best for the meat or the fresh produce that we're cooking. And this Malaysian-owned group has added its latest. 3 plus 1, a boutique hotel to its chain. The hotel is newly open and it's a four bedroom uh, boutique hotel, three deluxe and one suite. Um, what we do is we try to do a personal friendly service and we have a butler service where we greet customers and we, we it's very personal so it's like a service house area. Every room has a small courtyard and after Olympics we'll be able to open the rooftop terrace which will be nice, much nicer. Every room would have its own private courtyard and its own rooftop terrace. The other restaurants and bars are Paper and Sambal Urban. A Lonely Planet's places to eat in Beijing, Cafe Sambal is listed there too. For fine food and totally laid-back surroundings, nothing beats the outlets under the Café Sambal Group. From Beijing, Salas Wong, The Star, Malaysia.